Hey you guys, we are back to do another review of 90 Day Fiance, The Tell All Part 2. So let's get into it. We keep it real. What's up, Koya fam? Welcome back to another video of Courtney and Eddie. I'm Eddie, aka E Dub. This is my lovely wife. Courtney, also known as Coco. And this here is Courtney and Eddie. This channel is all about relationships, reviews, and entertainment. And tonight, we're going to be talking about 90 Day, 90 day Fiance, the Tell All, Tell All Part Deuce. So, if you're brand new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you're watching us on Facebook, make sure you hit like and follow in on our social media site. Comment down below. Um, before we get into it, make sure that you join our Patreon. Yes, we have a Patreon. We have exclusive content just for our patrons, and we like to post in there. We like to go live in there. We like to share in there. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. <sighs> Part two, it was really and truly the... Rainbow Debris show. No, it was the Rainbow Bright show. Sparkles. Yeah, Sparkles, Rainbow Bright, you know, oil stain, whatever you want to call them, man. But yeah, now I'm gonna say this before you get started. Nine day fiance, y'all gave him too much airtime. Yep. Way too much airtime. He he didn't deserve all that airtime air you gave him. All he did was bully people, pick that people for what? You know. Yeah, y'all gave him too much airtime. Yeah, and um, if if you go take Sean, play say it. I heard that she the executive producer, honey. That's she? But that's what I heard. <clears throat> but if she gonna, if you gonna let her, let him take her place, do it. Don't have us sitting up there since he wanna host it. Ask all the questions, pick at folks, tell who gonna stay together, who gonna like. It was just uncalled for. I never want to see him on TV again, ever. Right. Him uh, that quiet me on. So don't want to see neither nah, one of them on TV. Sit, up, sit down, snivel at people, and laugh at people. It's it was, it was just too much, too much, too much. So um, it starts off with Jabri and John, uh, of course, getting into it, and John is tearing that tail up. Right. He tearing that tail up, and rightfully so. Like stay out of them folks' business, and see when John start getting on your tail, then you want to. I want to. I want to be on the same stage, but you weren't saying that with nobody else. Because you was dogging them out, bullying them out. But when you start getting that same energy turned back on you, then you want to cry wolf. John said, actually, listen, dude. Yeah, actually, almost did cry. Yeah, I think so. John was like, dude, I didn't see you get to fight uh, with your little boyfriend or whatever, honey. It, you didn't win, so bring it. Come on, let's yeah, do it. Yeah, well, basically what John's saying, Jabri, you ain't got no hands. No. You ain't got no hands. So, yeah, man, I was just like, everybody he picked on... He continued on because they didn't push back. Yeah. John pushed back and it made him uncomfortable. That's why he wanted to go back out there and film with John. So yeah, man, it just, you know, man, please. Um let's see. So let's move on to the part where where they were actually um on stage and it seems as though Jabri and John was getting into it and Sean asked, and they came back out. Sean asked Jabri, um, do he think that Patrick is too, let's see, Jabri right, and Patrick said no. Okay, so do he think that Jabri, I mean, Patrick, excuse me, John is too involved in Patrick, Patrick and Thais life. Right. And Patrick was like, no. And Jabri was like, yeah, he do. And, and Thais was like, that's right. I think so. You know, yeah. And then plus Patrick don't take up for me. I like how Jabri doing it. And um, he taking up for me, but my own husband had taken up for me. And Thais, you know, you, you went a little too far with that. You know what I'm saying? Basically, you, what you're trying to do, you're trying to throw your man on the bus. Jabri ain't trying to take up for you. He is trying to get airtime. He used that to get his shine on, exactly. man. That's all he was doing. Yep. And John said that um, John, it, it seems as though Thais was like John was um, 
Jabri was brave for taking up for her and stuff. But then, <coughs> excuse me, it seems as though when that was the words were said that John looked a little hurt when Patrick was saying, yeah, my brother do come off a, a little oh, yeah. bit strong, you oh, yeah. know. Um, he needs to chill out a little bit, you know. Yeah, I and, do. And I get why John was hurt because when Patrick was going through all that drama he was going through with X and he was down and out, mm -hmm. John was there for him. That's why he moved in with Patrick to help him through those tough times. Now, after you find your new woman, you basically throwing John. I understand John has to move out, move out, get his own life. I get right. that, but to throw him under the bus on national TV, say yeah, he's doing too much. But when you was down and out, Pat, and he was there for you. Was he doing too much then? No, he wasn't. Mm -hmm. So they taking a break, and Jabri said that um, he liked Thais and Patrick. He said that um, he don't like John. They are, um, he don't even want to be in the same room, but they did walk back in the same room. That's when um, John said all Actually, the stuff he said. Debris was trying to go into that other room. Oh, yeah. The judge said, no, 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 you go down there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's when um, he was like, I don't want to be on stage with that. You cannot poke the bear and then get mad when the bear bites you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what he did. He kept on poking the bear and then he got mad when the, so, I wish they would have put him in the same space so that, um, but Jabri want to um, act like, oh, man, I'm going to get him. I'm going to do something to him if y'all put it. Well, Please. we know we know Jabri got knocked out once in, in a, high school. Yeah, in a coma. Yeah, right? in a coma. <laughs> then on, on TV, he got beat up again by the same guy, you know. So. I thought he won that fight. Mm, it was kind of dry. All they did was also, man. But, yeah, man, you know. <laughs> Jabri's all mouth, man. You know, it's just like all that stuff wasn't called for, man. You pick, you want to, you threaten to fight, uh, wasn't it Ari? Yes. Yeah. You threaten to fight her, uh, the part on part one. And, you know, you go after people that's no, you know, it's not going to speak, you know, talk back, you know. And the reason why you probably kind of finally said that about the loud, about him, uh, shot not making it because you know how, how quiet Bilal was. So you peep that out, oh, he ain't going to say that, so I'm going to say something negative about him. You know what I'm saying? But when Kobe said you, uh, what do you say? Uh, yeah, Kobe said it was from your, if it, if it wasn't for, for your woman, what was her name? Neona. Neona, the band was still been together. You didn't push back with Kobe. You showed then All you did was laugh and held your head down. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, That's he... what I'm saying. He know who to pick on, not to pick on. Yeah, so anyway, um Jabri told them that he would not that he would knock John out, but it's for Thais on for behalf of for Thais. But Malai came over there to encourage for what? John, I know, to encourage to encourage man, don't let nobody get you out of character, yada yada. Man, he turned on you. Bro. Yeah, that's what I was saying. How that feel, man? You know, you try to support this dude, you try to support Rainbow Bright. But Rainbow Bright turned on you at the end. Yeah. And then so he was like, man, John ain't number trailer park. That's what we call over here in the U.S. You number trailer park. And then Kara was like, so, Patrick, you going to just let your brother get called trailer park trash? Like, really? I don't understand, Patrick, man. You know, you, you, you part one, you going out to Bilal, so he's a salesman and all of that. You had, you know, you had that energy in part one, but Part two, you let this man call your beloved brother trailer trash. Yep. And you didn't call him out on it. I just. Yep. Mm. I mean, Patrick, at that point, all the muscles you got. Right, man. You should be able to use, you know, you said you probably one of the strongest man, strongest man, man in the world. So you could have went down there and bench press him. Yeah. And threw the rainbow braid out the window. Yeah. Mm. So Patrick said that um you know he Amen. trying to take up for his wife. He don't see nothing that his brother do wrong. He do call him out on some of his stuff, yada yada yada. And Thais was like, yeah yeah, he need to get him. Yeah, he don't say nothing. Yeah, he don't defend me. Yada yada yada. So anyway, Ari said, well, Thaisa, do what you do best. Be quiet and. <laughs> 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 um, Ari said that well, Jabri the one that sound like the bullet to him. To her. To her. I'm right. sorry. And so anyway, let's move on because I do not want to be the breach the breach the debris. The, the breeze. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, you know, when they had the debris that them fall. 
yeah. Yeah, debris. debris. So that's what his clothes look like, debris that then came together out of the tornado. All right, so they show pics of Emily giving birth to their beautiful little girl. And all the pictures of their sweet little family. Um, um, Pretty picture, too. Yeah, it seems as though she froze her. She froze her placenta. What's the placenta? That's the stuff that when they push on your stomach, it's a bag of blood and gunk. Then they put it in the bag. And most of the time, I think they test it to make sure it's nothing, you know, like yeah, throw it away. I don't know uh, what they do it. with it. I don't know they what clone they do. people with it. I don't know what the hospital do with it. But I this first time I know I've heard of people saying that they eat it, but I didn't know Ugh, that I, I, you eating your own self, man. So I didn't know that that it it, it caused your hormones to be in balance and stuff oh, like really? that. So I, see, yeah. I didn't I never heard that part. Um I didn't know the reason why people did it. But she said that she froze hers and actually took it to the company. They put they, it in they put it in the PF form and you know, it helps with her hormones and all that stuff, whatever. Okay. So what it is, so your placenta is nothing but a bag for the hormones. That's what it sounds like. I guess, you know, so that's why when y'all have all these babies, your hormones be out of whack because your placenta gone. Probably. You know, it do make sense now because, you know, a lot of times women will have um, postpartum depression, um, a lot of stuff that goes on with their body, you know okay. what I'm saying? Right. So, um, but yeah, learn that. So anyway, um, um, Sean asked about their sex life as far as, you know, have they had sex, you know, since they had this family. So they went on this, uh, it's been a while. Somebody said two weeks. No, I think Cobra said no. It's been longer than two yeah, weeks. It's been been like a month. Little of a month. Yeah. And so she's like, really? So anyway, they talked about that. You know, um, and see, Shida said, well, you know, oh, and then Cobra said, plus I don't necessarily want to have a baby. Like he, he's scared to have sex because they, you know, they just had a baby. Yeah. And he don't want to be. Popping yeah. another baby out again. And Kobe, he sneezed wrong. She get pregnant. Okay. Man. And Shida was like, well, you can talk to Bilal about that because he the king of not trying to get nobody pregnant. So you can ask him how he do it. Right, so yo. that was shame. Why, yeah. Why you throwing Bilal on the bus? Bilal ain't doing that to you, literally. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, I think that Sean was like, ooh, Shida, that was shade, honey. So, um. So they showed clips of Emily saying that um, she wanted one night with COVID that, you know, COVID said he oh, wanted yeah. to go see his son. And they pulled some up on Twitter where somebody said, that's disgusting. If the roles were reversed, somebody, they would have a fit. If a man say, no, you can't go and see your uh, until child. Until you give me some. Yeah, until you, yeah. Yeah, and to me, that's right. If the, if the roles were, were uh, reversed, yeah, a lot of people would be in an uproar because... How gonna, how am I gonna hold the baby hostage until I get me some? You know what I'm saying? But when she did it, everybody, a lot of people didn't. No, they didn't. Well, I, I, I don't know. Some some people did. Right. I I didn't like it. And then too, um, she did ask. Now she didn't coerce him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, we could go yeah. to the room. Yeah, he could have said no, but. But in COVID defense, he's saying, man, you should have told me this before I got off the plane so I'd be more mental, pre mentally prepared for right. it. So the next thing, they show clips of uh, uh, Muhammad and Eve. No, Muhammad. And, you sly rascal, you. And they, um, and they, oh, uh, uh, they show clips of Eve's squad, her friends and stuff. So the anyway, they brought out her friend, Tatiana. And Sean asked Muhammad, you know, um, uh, as far as how he felt about, you know, Tatiana in the conversation that was said. And so, anyway, it seems as though his biggest thing is that y'all don't need to be talking about me and my sex life. You know, asking me this, asking me that or whatever. She was just saying, I was just trying to find out, you know, how you was to our friend. You know, it really wasn't just about sex, but I think that's basically what he focused on. That makes sense now. Oh, I yeah. Why he was so defensive with the friends look kind of interrogating him now. It makes sense. Okay. So um, he said, you know, um, I think she said, like, sex is not really taboo for them. It may be for some people, whatever. He said, I got American friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He Good said, man. I got American friends and um, now. And he said, am I? And I asked him about that. And they was like, oh, no, that's disrespectful. We asked about sex and stuff like that. That's none of her business. So, you know, I felt that that's what, you know. As you can he tell, to say. as you can tell by 
Coco sound like a woman being his friend, that should be a hint, hint to you guys of yeah. what's going what's gonna to come later on. Oh, that he was talking to women American, mm. women American friends. Oh, so, made, I'm sorry. So it makes sense why he's so defensive now when the women, the, the so-called squad was interrogating him now because he was like, oh man, they might find something out. I might let it slip what I'm trying to do. <clears throat> So um, Eve also said that she did not know that Muhammad was a virgin. And you believe that. Put your shades on, honey. I ain't got my shoes. You put your, you put your shades on, I pull on, put on your pop-pop glasses. Why are you going to put my pop-pop glasses on? Oh, Lord, they never said that. I can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> so... You going to wipe them things off? Oh, Yo, golly. That's why I'll be... I take them off, my eyes be off. <laughs> <laughs> so Eve said that she didn't know he was a virgin. Come on, let's be one hundred percent honest. Muhammad is. I didn't. I don't think that Muhammad didn't think that he was a virgin the first time she said it because number one, he hopped in your DMs real quick after the bikini pic. Okay. Um, I just don't think that he was no virgin. I agree with you. I don't, I don't think, think he was no. either. He, not the way he moved. Not but the way he now, moved. He, since he's over here, got Americanized. Oh, but he's off the chain now. Yeah, so um, Jabri, the host, jumps in. Not right. today. Please don't ever do this again. Tell people they got to keep a balance. Don't let one person sit up there and run the whole show. Everybody should be able to have some good talking points. Not one person. Actually, Showboat. you're right. I agree with you. And actually, it will start to become a turnoff to oh, the yeah. show. You know it what I'm was. saying? And that, that right there can run people off from looking at it right. because they get tired of one guy interrupting, bullying people. That's not a good look. Yeah. I don't know if y'all were trying to get some drama going. I think they would. But still, that's the wrong way of doing the drama. If you want drama, call Carlos King. If you want drama, get uh, what's her name? Um, Jasmine. From the last, uh, what it was after uh, the nine of days. I wonder how. And Gino. Jasmine and if Jagree did Jasmine like that, what was Jasmine? Oh, Ooh, she would have had, oh, she would have lit into him. Now, she can help host the show. You want to co host? Get her. Yeah, she was funny too. Because she would ask some good questions and she'll call people out. Now, that was entertaining yeah. because it was who she was. Mm. Jabri was put on because he wanted the moments. Shine. Yeah, he Just wanted Just like to shine. that jacket, he wanted to shine. Mm. So Jabri asked a question to her friend. Did she think that their relationship was genuine and stuff like that? So she really didn't ask that. She didn't answer it. She said, "Let me ask y'all this: Would anybody in this room um, be would tell their partner that they will um, if they don't do right, they want to get a sponsor, another sponsor? Nobody raised their hand." Mm. And Jabri stepped in. Well, he was just in emotion. You know, he was in the moment. You know, he was frustrated. Bree, you wasn't there, bro. No. You wasn't there. You too busy in your mom's basement. Chill out. Right. Um, also, it seems that though Shida stepped in and said, well, you know, it's a lot of pressure, you know, for them. You oh, know, yeah, I, yeah, uh, yeah. They trying to work. And they trying to yeah. Gil more. Gil more. I'm guessing I'm glad I get never try to say his name again. He also said it's a lot. It's a lot of stress. It's a lot of doing this. It's a lot of doing that. So, you know, the pressure be on. So, you know, not saying that they would have said it, but they say, I guess in a sense, they understand to a small percentage why he said it. All right. So let's move on. Ephraim wants to talk to Muhammad because when they took a break, um, she went and said, well, can I talk to Muhammad? So Muhammad and Eve went out there and talked. And so they pretty much squashed. Well, they actually hugged when they was on stage. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, Muhammad said, baby, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Muhammad, on, while they was on stage, Muhammad decided, you know what? I'm going to squash this. So he went there. He got up, walked across the stage, and gave her a hug so they can kind of uh, make peace with one another. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and then when they took a break, they went and started talking. And um, and so she said, well, let me talk to you. So she said, listen, I just want to make sure the air is clear. You know, we're in a good place and stuff. He was like, yeah. So he said he just felt disrespected when um, they was talking about whatever they were talking about. So she said, well, I didn't try to disrespect you. He said, well, I, I didn't disrespect you. She said, well, you did call us stupid and weird and stuff like that. He said, oh, my bad. You yeah, know, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I know we haven't got to the part yet. But I wonder how the squad feels about this. Oh, David. 
I told you. I told you. <laughs> Didn't like him. Got my friend back. Friend, don't go to him. Don't go in. I Get wonder, that divorce. I, Let that go. Bye, I bye, wonder bye. how they feel about it because they try to warn her so many they times. They is having a good time, honey. They probably drink, I told you. I told you. They probably drinking all their wine. You oh, remember when yeah. they like to drink and stuff? That, oh, they probably having a good kiki, honey. God, yeah. So let's move on to um, Benny and Ari. So Sean said that, um, let's see, it seems as though Benny, what, was he in Vegas? He's in Las Vegas training for MMA. So he's in Vegas and I think Ar 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 Audrey. Ari. Oh, I'm sorry, Ari is back in, what, New York? Yeah, Jersey. New Jersey, Jersey, yeah. Jersey. And plus Ari went to, what, Ethiopia? For three months, three, so it's been for a week, and that week to three months. I don't know what kind of marriage they got right now. Yeah. Uh, one that she said it works for her, honey, because if they spend more time together, then they argue, fuss, and fight. So I'm so, saying, well, that marriage, uh, I hate to say it, Rainbow Bright might be right about this one here. Yeah. Uh, so it seems as though, um, mm, okay. I think who said oh Jabri said that their marriage ain't gonna last. He said that they marriage ain't gonna last and Shida and Bilal marriage and yeah, he fit it in his gut. Rainbow bright good. Ain't nothing but the color of the rainbows in that good. <laughs> <laughs> so Ari said that um as far as Vegas, um, you know, she even asked her husband, Do he wanna stay in Vegas and she can stay in Jersey and we just come together and he was like no that's not how we gonna do our marriage no we're gonna stay in one place because she don't want to go to vegas and stuff and why so, do you want to go to vegas why and we just came from vegas i heard i'd be in vegas in jersey we got vegas what fever yeah we got we, we still sick from vegas uh vegas fever um so it's Sean was like, so it seems like both of you got two different ideas on what marriage actually look like. And so she was just saying too that she spent three months in Ethiopia. Um, she was going down there for like like missionary work or something like that. And it seems as though our Benny thought that she was gonna be gone a couple of weeks, but honey, she was gone three months and she actually blocked him. Yeah. She said for her sake, because she didn't want to have to girl bye. You blocked him for you you blocked him because you've been petty That's to like, get him back yeah. because of what he did to you prior. Trust me. Ben there done that. It's a petty move. It is. But if you were if you was over there helping people out, I commend you for that. Because you know, you took the time out to you know to go over there. I know you don't believe it. Mm. But I think she did. Let me tell you something. If Ari found a man in Ethiopia the first time that she just went over there, um, however she went over there because she wanted to travel or whatever, what makes you think that she won't find another? Because Go ahead. Because she's scared of the sisters. Oh, they find out with another man. <laughs> <laughs> they going to get that wine glass again. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That Ari is, she, see this is one thing when, I think we talked about this in another video. When you spend a long, long distance away from each other and you have to come together, how far, how long can y'all come together without somebody just being on eggshells? Well, I can, Even I, though they was in Ethiopia for a while together, I, I think. Yeah, but, but. I think she got pregnant right after. Yeah, but when it was the Ethiopia, uh, Benny didn't have he didn't have all all the distractions he got over here. Ethiopia probably has friends, but not. But when you come over here, there's so much to do, so many distractions. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So many more women he can choose from. You, you, plus, you're in Vegas now, and she man, please. Well, she don't seem to mind. She want the man to stay there, and um, maybe you she, know, maybe she back with her ex. It seems as though she just don't like, like she really truly don't. She love him, and she love him really too truly because that's the father of her child. But she don't want to be with him. But I don't think she want to spend time with him. Mm -hmm. Like she said, they fuss, you know. So fuss too much, right? So let's move on to Morin Jabri and Miona. So he's trying to create some kind of story for himself to storm off the stage and stuff like that. We really don't care, brother. We saw past that suit uh, right when you um came in on the show. So Jabri and Miona, um, he said that he enjoyed the fact that they can travel together, they hang out, they do stuff. So he's really and truly, they don't want to have a child right now. So they want to enjoy their life. Who's just smart? Um, he said he hadn't seen his parents in six months. I don't believe him. 
Um, Jabri, friend, David, come out. I, I look David to me, but okay, we'll go with David because I guess that's just the way you pronounce it. Yeah. So David come out and um, basically David came out and when Jabri had words because Jabri, Jabri, <laughs> we call him Jabri. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was his name? David. David. Yeah. David was saying that it was because well, Neona. It was cause of Neona. 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 Yeah, Neona. Okay. Neona was the cause me. of the. I said me. Me as in. Oh, me. me. Oh, I said me. Okay. Neona. My bad. I'm sorry. Okay. Break it down. Neona was the cause of the, the, the band breaking up. And Dre was saying he was about to leave anyway, basically, because he felt like the band was basically a dead weight to him. You know what I'm saying? Because he was a lead singer. He felt like the band wasn't. Pulling their weight, and he wanted to go solo. And uh, he said, "Man, if I want to do this, I can just go solo." Then he met Miona, and he like, Miona guess guess gave him the courage to just go ahead and live his life. And all the Bree, uh, the B was saying was, "If you felt that way, you should have came and told us." The way you handled that situation was kind of tacky because you didn't communicate. All we know, you up and left. So he was hurt. And, you know, so Jabri said, well, no, nah, man, you just jealous because I got somebody you don't. And you should be trying to support your boy and be happy for me, but you're not. And they went back and forth, back and forth. And I was like, man, then that's when he got up and left. I said, man, you just want somebody to see your new outfit like you in school. You know how you get a new outfit in school? You yeah. You sharpen your pencil. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, yeah, Jabri got up and walked out because he just wanted a moment. as as if he didn't have a bunch already. So they were just letting that child do just what he yeah, wanted to. I, I'm, you know, I'm so disappointed oh, in yeah. that day fiance. Me too. Because this right here wasn't nothing to drum up. It wasn't real. It wasn't authentic. Um, he wasn't mad for real. He probably told the V what he was gonna do. The V just sat there. Miona said, "I'm not getting up. My feet hurt, so I'm not gonna chase you." So, um, yeah, he just went back there, grabbed some snacks, want to talk to the camera, say, "Nah, nah, nah, and, nah, nah, yeah," and come back out there. He just wanted his little solo time, yeah. like the, like the group. He wanted his solo time, exactly. And uh, they got fuss. I heard he was already married anyway, so you just came up for your clout. Yeah, Sean had said, um, she asked if other couples do. Y'all think that Jabri isolated people from, I was isolating other people, you know, because of Miona. Um, and so anyway, I forget what they said. I think they all say yeah. So, so anyway, they get up, they hug, and um, it was just such a weird hug. Like, it was kind of like cut. Okay, it's like, okay, Jabri was like, oh, that's enough. Got my shine. All right, now it's time to hug. Let's just hug it out, bro. All right, appreciate you. All right, bye. It was, it was straight up tacky. It all. was all, all the way. So anyway, let's move on to um, Emily's parents. Now, at first, I wasn't feeling Emily parents. Yeah, I agree with you. But I really and truly have grown to like them. Yeah, I have grown. Not just like them, but respect them because they took on this man, and like the dad said, he like he feel like he's his son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And for him to give him Kobe a family. You think Secret. it was an heirloom or something? Yeah, that's what I think. Thank you. A family heirloom. And I guess it's been passed down to, you know, father, you know, man to man. Because he said, basically, I'm giving you, you know, this because I'm giving my daughter away to you. And. and Hold he, up. Hold on. Okay. Because like, you're getting ahead of yourself. Okay. So, um, let's see. Sean said, are you guys still in the house with the the parents? They say, yeah, child, they still here, honey. They still here. We want to give them a plan, but they got a plan, though, mm -hmm. to move out. But so, like, yeah, they need to be on their own and doing life by themselves. But, you know, um, Sean also asked, you know, well, listen, parents, we talked about them. We know the house is full. Uh, Y'all got not only them, I, now I, you I, got I, another I like grandbaby. Put them on the spot. Yeah, now. I don't like this question because now I got to picture them doing it. <laughs> <laughs> How do y'all get down? He said, what did they say? Uh, uh, the rooms are uh, soundproof. Soundproof. Uh, they were like, oh. So I thought it was cute because they put Emily like she was like flushed. Like, oh, no, my she gosh. was. She was real embarrassed, yes. man. Like, oh, my gosh. I can't believe you asked my mom and dad of that. And so um, let's see. They also talk about the breastfeeding, you know, how 
weird it was and how COVID felt like he needed to be on him and not his son. And so, um, but it seems as though the census was that a lot of women in there felt like, hey, 17 months, that ain't nothing. It was two and a half years or two years or sometime. And then um, they just said, you know, in some countries, it's better to have the child on there because it's just, you know, more no, healthier. Yeah, it is. I always heard breastfeeding was uh, more healthier, you know, like Similac and formula and stuff like that. Um, but... Man, you got a grown baby walking, walking around here talking and writing and stuff, and then you're like, "Mom, I'm home," and you pop a press out. That yeah. is still, it's still weird to me. Yeah. Um. Also, too, um, I think Benny was saying as far as in no their culture, you know, culture as far as breastfeeding and everything, but he couldn't get it out, and um, Jabri made some kind of uh 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 uh, uh like that in Irish. She needed her moment. She said, oh, okay, so you think no, it's okay? No, no, I'm, I'm glad she had that moment yeah. call. Somebody needed to call him out on that. Yeah, but. I'm glad. Um, so you want to call and saying stuff about bullying, but you just bullied my husband because he couldn't speak mm. to get his words out to say what he wanted to say because he's still trying to learn the language. Yeah, right. and get the English together and stuff. And so um, well, I, when I say she needed a moment, I really didn't think that Jabri... <laughs> I think, and I'm going to say this, I think that he was just making, not that he could not get his words out or, you know, like mm. we, we mess with each other, like stumbling because it was like, yeah, I want the breast myself, right. you know, but, you know, just making a joke side. But yeah, she did get him on that Yeah, one. you know, Dre always talking about, oh, I don't like bullying, but you turn around bullying people, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Come on, man, you're a hypocrite. Yep. Um. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Sean asked the question, what did you give Kobe? And you, if you want to say that, oh, he said basically, he's you know, the dad said, Kobe, if you want to tell him, you can tell him, you know. And Kobe said, No, I'm not going to tell him. And so, Sean asked, you know, she asked, So, do the uh, asked the mom, Do you know what it is? She said, Yeah. So, basically, the only she people, that, Emily. yeah, she's the only people, it's basically, the only people that know what the dad gave Kobe is Kobe, the dad, the mom, and Emily, probably the end of people in the house, ain't it? right. But hey, I'm like you said, babe. I'm glad they kept that off camera. Yeah. You know? So some things you need to keep private. Right. They kept that private. Yeah. I think that they needed that moment. Heck, you praying in every part of their life. Right. Leave something to just to them. y'all. Yeah, to them. Yeah. And I appreciate the fact that Kobe didn't say it because it was some personal. Whatever yeah. it was, it, it was, was very made, personal right. to the, the dad as well to make him cry. Mm. And he looked at Kobe as a son now. Mm. At first, he didn't. I right. Don't know yeah. who you is, because, we my family business. Who you think you is? Yeah, because we used to talk, oh, we used to, you know, tease them. Ooh, they like the people from Get Out, you know what I'm saying? But now, you know, the way he felt about Kobe and he real emotional over Kobe and told Kobe he felt like a son, you know, I, you know, he, yeah, yeah. he changed my mind. So, um, so yeah, I am super glad that Kobe did not share what it was right. and everybody know but us and keep it like that. All right, so let's move on to Benny and, um, Oh, they were talking about Benny's sisters, Mimi and Wish. Mm. I thought What's they was name? talking about Mimi and Wish. Oh, I thought something off uh, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is it? Wish.com. Yeah, Wish.com. <laughs> so um, I thought they was going to actually come or, you know, yeah, um, video. Yeah, video or something like that. So I was ready for it. <laughs> and Mimi and Wish said, if y'all can't fly me over there with my wine glass, I ain't going to get on no screen because I need to be in person with my wine glass. <laughs> <laughs> so um they talked about they showed clips of the um tossing of the wine you know everybody was just flabbergasted they feel like that's, benny don't say nothing especially uh, <laughs> I promise you. Well, she gives me life when she does. <laughs> me, uh, what's her name? Thais need to be one of them gifts. Like, I, if somebody texts me, said, "What you doing?" I'm like, and they say, "Girl, guess what happened?" I'm like, oh, I need her picture. I need her picture. So, um, so anyway, let's see. So they were saying, you know, so it seems like the other women agree, like, you know, that was disrespectful. Benny don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? You don't let your wife, your sister throw no wine glass in your wife's face. Yada, yada, yada. So they talked about that, which, which we all talked about that before. 
But the thing was is that, you know, they was also showing a clip where Bennett's sister said, listen, get your green card. If you don't do nothing else, staying on over there, get your green card. They probably said, bring us over there. We can get yourself situated and settled. And everybody went on Bennett about that green card situation. But the person, one of the, the person they should have got, the, the person they should be getting on was sitting back there in the shadows. Oh, Muhammad. Yeah, he didn't say nothing. Yeah, get him. He the one on the green card. Yeah, even though I said I wanted, I was gonna find me another sponsor. That ain't me. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> so um, he said no. Let's see. Um, uh, he said, well, as far as the green card, he did want to get his green card because he wanted to make sure that he, you know, have his son. He's in touch with his son and stuff. But you know, he said mm, for them, they do fight a lot. And if it really weren't for that, that son, her having that baby, they would not probably be. Yeah, and it was wow. Ooh, you heard that, Ari? Ari, uh, if it weren't for your baby, you gonna be here. So y'all not in love. What Ben was trying to say is that the, when they had a child, it made them closer. Okay, but even though they still have issues, they still fussing and fighting. He's saying he said that you know things are getting better between the two. So. Uh, they still have issues. That girl want to be gone for three months. She said she enjoyed the separation. Um, oh, yeah, they got, yeah, they got They got major <laughs> issues, man. It, it, the separation is good for them. You know, um, yeah, that's how when, she want to live her life. When you go to a whole new continent, a whole nother continent for three months, then put them, put them on block. Yeah. Yeah, I got major issues, man. Oh, and yeah. So, um, so Benny did say, yeah, if it wasn't for the child, he, you know, they probably wouldn't be together. And like I said, Rainbow Bright, he might be right by them, too. Yeah. So, anyway, so let's go. Oh, so now at the end, we're at the end, and the couples are packing, and they're getting their stuff, and oh, they're leaving. Oh, what are you going? I'm sorry. But the person said, y'all need to watch it to the end. I had my hopes up high. Maybe somebody going to beat up J Jabri. I wait somebody to jump out the one of them big hills. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's what I was waiting for, but it never did happen. Yeah. So actually told us that. Yeah. So um so the couples are packing their stuff and Emily told um Shida. <clears throat> Emily said that I do apologize for not sticking up for y'all. Um, when Jabri said that y'all was not going to last and stuff, she said, I really and truly think that y'all will last. And I, I don't know why I didn't say that. I, you should have. You I said know, that. Man. Said so. Shoot. God. It's like nobody want to check the Jabri. Yeah. Nobody. And then I noticed that Shida, um, Emily called Shida Shida. You know, Shahida. Mm. But that's the ex wife. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't, you know. So, anyway, Bilal said it started getting his feelings. He said, Well, I thought I was an I person. So I came here, and it seems like, you know, I'm not. So, it seems as though he started getting his feelings. You know, he was quiet. He shut down. He really started shutting down and everything. And Shida started saying, No, you're a good person. You know, I would not come all this way if it wasn't for yada, yada, yada. And then she started doing her little stuff where she want to cry to get him to get sympathy on her because now he in his feelings. See, I was like, Yeah, see, yeah, I see, y'all could have me in the back room. I'll walk back, <laughs> get out of it. <laughs> Stop all this doggone drama, man. You need yeah. a shoe. Yeah, I got my shoe. <laughs> Where that shoe come from? Don't worry about it. You see, and will. My grandma robe. <laughs> um. So anyway, so they show the uh, afterwards. So Ashley told us, listen, when you watch it, wait to the very end, because you know how some people just walk away, honey. It's over. Wait to the very yeah. end. So at the end, they said what? After after the reading for yeah. It. After we didn't see Jabri get beat up, <laughs> they just put some words up there saying that uh, Muhammad. With uh basically texting other women, and they showed the right after the right, right after, after the, the right, right after the reunion, All right? And uh, and they showed all the texts, and basically he was saying, you know, I can't wait to get with you. I'm gonna get my green card. After I get my green card, I'm going to the attorney. We're gonna be together, this and that. And the lady said, well, I can't wait. You such a cutie, yada yada yada. Kissing emojis, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, kissing emojis mm -hmm. all over the place. And he said, I don't care. I could be in bed with you all day and all this, all that. I mean, he was laying on. Yeah. Big, honey. And he showed Muhammad on the camera. I was like, yeah. 
He been Americanized. He got the short hair. He don't even look the same now, he got man. A, like he got a tan. Yeah, he got a little swag. Look, 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 look. That's what happens, man. You come over here. First of all, you came over here to America. That's one thing. You're a nice looking man. That's another thing. Yeah. And then three, you done went on TV. Oh, man. man no. game. <laughs> then, oh, and, and on top of that, you have a naive wife. <laughs> Older Yo, woman, yeah. Oh man, shoot! I bet that woman he was talking to. I bet she, I bet she was around his age. Yeah, and you young, mm -hmm. and you was a virgin. I don't believe that. Part. You inexperienced. I don't believe that part. Either. Whatever. Um. So yeah. So Muhammad said. Um. You know he. So Eve was like. You know Eve. They showed them like video. You know chatting or whatever. And so Eve was like. You know she's very disappointed. You know, so forth and so on. Muhammad said, man, I, I, I'm just trying to fix it. I want to get my wife back. He saw a crying. Nope. Say them tears, brother. Yeah, yeah. Um, he yeah, saw a crying. crying. <laughs> um, huh? Yeah, no, 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 you don't think he was no, crying for real? No, he probably uh, uh, got some little Vaseline. Uh, uh, <laughs> he said she don't know what's the future for them. I know what's the future. Get with them girls. Yeah, go talk to your squad. See what they got to say about it. Baby, he ghosts. I don't care. He is ghost. Your Get with friend, the squad. Tatiana, mm -hmm. talk to him. I didn't want to see my friend hurt. Well, too late, honey. Hey, squad, y'all watch this. Y'all come in here and tell me, tell us if y'all talk to her. Cause we want to know. And you know what? Muhammad didn't have that soft voice no more. You said that crying was. Mm -mm. No, man. I didn't even think he had that soft voice no more because I would have just picked up on, on the reunion. That soft voice wasn't there. He was clapping back at Tatiana, clapping back at other people, talking about other people. Oh, no. he, he got. Ooh, he, all he, she got dupe, honey. He got that soft voice for that green card. All these women, all these women love me. They all in my DM. Uh -huh. My honey, my honey. I got my green card now. I don't need you. I got my green card. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that that tell all the ending part was probably the best. So um yeah. All right, guys. On that note, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. I don't know if we're gonna do nine a day next time. I don't know. It just seemed to be slow for us. You know what I'm saying? It's not picking up traction the way I would want it to be for it to be two hours. Well, yeah. Like I said, we gotta see who they get on get on it next time. We thought that this was gonna be a right season, but it actually was very boring. <laughs> the season I think before the nine days was more the entertaining. Best. Yeah. yeah it, was, it was more entertaining. Yeah. Yeah, it was enjoyable. We can actually do skits on people. Yeah. But this right here, they was boring. I was not going to give Jabri no more shine to try to do no skit on him yeah. or nothing like that because I heard they had a fake storyline anyway. So, you know, yeah. anyway. Y'all, <sighs> all right, it's been fun. It's been real. And I think the next will come on Sunday. Yeah, I don't know if it's the same one. It's something else, not a day. Not a day. On Mars or not a day on Jupiter or something like that. <laughs> Y'all let us know which one we uh, we need to do or think about doing. We'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to go with God and make God go with you. I always put God first. Who says? Hey! I always put God first.